Hello and welcome to another edition of Guinea Pigs with Greg. In this episode we're going to look at how we can improve size on our guinea pigs through feeding. Um, and this is how we get them into show condition. Uh, the way we feed is a lot different and we'll go through that in this video. So when keeping guinea pigs uh, you need to look at uh, a variety of things. Feeding, uh, what you put into the guinea pig, breeding, how you produce the guinea pig, preparation, how you get them ready and husbandry, which is how you look after them daily. In this video, we're going to focus on feeding and how we uh, get the most out of our guinea pigs by feeding them the right things to get them in show condition. So you've bred a guinea pig that you'd like to show. You've trained him, you've prepared him, his coat's in immaculate condition. But to stand out from the rest of the exhibits, you really need to feed your KV to get him as fit as possible. Now we want him fit, not fat. This is very important. We want them to be dense to feel and not flabby. So if you haven't seen my video already on my maintenance feed, I'd recommend watching that because that will give you an idea of what to feed daily. So here I feed a dry mix, an apple rabbit mix. Um, I've linked this before uh, and th this forms the foundation of their hard food. But this isn't enough to increase the weight. So this is part of their daily diet. So we add extra things now. So we add bran. Um, and bran seems to put on weight very quickly. They go absolutely crazy for bran. Um, you must feed water with it because it's a very dry um, substance and you, you, don't, you don't really want them to, to blow out with it. Uh, the, I also feed um, Fibre Performance by Dobson & Horrell, uh, which is a forage mix. You can use other forage mixes. This is the one that I, I use. And it's got alfalfa in it and lots of other things. And they just like to get their nose in this and mill around and rummage and forage uh, and pick out the best of this. And I find this just gives them another variety. So giving them the option of three different uh, dry feeds uh, is very good. We also feed plenty of hay. Now, we were feeding hay uh, once a day. We're now feeding hay three times a day when showing. Um, little and often. And this really bulks them out. And again, it makes them fit, not fat. We're not looking for really high sugary foods, lots of them. We're looking for lots of fibrous foods uh, to keep that weight on them. Um, we also feed graze on or ready grass or any other dried grass. Um, you find this is this is quite a sweet food and they do like it. They, they go for this very quickly. And, and we slowly increase the amount we feed of this leading up to show day. I find this helps uh, produce quite a nice shine to the coat. You notice on show condition KVs, the, the shoulder is very dense, the coat is very silky, but the body becomes very... Uh, well proportioned. On the face you can see the jowl from the left to the right and the head becomes very square, the, the face becomes very blown uh, and this is what show cave is uh, are all about. You want the pig to be the best example of itself and good feeding helps an average KV go to a very special KV. As you see here that it's mostly um, prevalent in the head, the shoulder and all around the midsection and the top rump. We'll feed our daily mix of vegetables with the added water. Um, this will always be a staple uh, in the shed. This always keeps that baseline going. Um, this is what we feed our breeding pigs and everything. But we look then to increase the amount of food leading up to show day. Uh, this is very important because you want the pig to be at its peak for its, its show day. Um, like a performance, you know, you're building up to that crescendo. Uh, but it's also important to decrease the amount of food slowly so that the pig doesn't become in shock. And the types of food that we uh, go on to feed, we feed lots of uh, fresh greens like parsley. Um, sweet corn puts a lot of good weight on them, uh, particularly in the shoulder uh, and around the rump. Uh, just lots of variety so they don't get bored with their food. They're always excited to eat. Beans, fine beans are a very, very good source of iron. And again, um, picks them up. Uh, rocket salad, a bit peppery. It's also um, got natural insecticide in it. Uh, we then feed broad beans and flat beans. Uh, again, uh, slightly higher in sugar, um, as is the uh, the beetroot. We feed this more in moderation, because um, like we say, we want them fit, not fat. Uh, it's very important. A baggy pig is not a good show pig. Celeriac is a very key part to this, um, as it firms them up very nicely. So we continue to feed the daily dry mix and the veg mix as per the previous video. Um, but then we have additional feeds now of bran and the forage mix. We feed hay at least three times a day and we feed dry grass uh, at least twice a day. 
and we build up uh, lots more treats in between these feeds of the things that you've just seen this week, one the celeriac, the beans, uh, the rocket, etc. Um, but then it's very important, like I said before, to slowly go backwards so you reduce the feeds down back to the normal daily uh, routine. So by using all these different types of food, um, we can increase the weight of a guinea pig quite dramatically, quite quickly, but in a safe and controlled way. Um, so we start off with uh, this little show bore, two and a half pound. And simply by increasing his food uh, up to five, maybe even six feeds a day, we're looking to increase his weight. As you can see, after one month on this feeding regime, um, he's put on half a pound in weight and his head has started to develop and he's started to become very wide across the jowl and the top of the head. And then he's put on uh, another half a pound in the next uh, two and a half months. And showing a pig at seven and a half months is at the very top end of the five to eight age category, which means it shows itself off to its physical best. The head is as broad as it could possibly be for that age, but also the body is as firm as can be and square at the rump. And this is exactly how you want your show pig to look. It's simply not enough just to put the food in the cage. You have to put a varied amount and lots in all the time, take out all the, the food they don't eat and replace it with foods that they do like to eat and just make it a very varied diet. We also use a cage mate, um, which is another guinea pig, just to help him compete for food. I found guinea pigs on their own tend to get very lonely and, and almost depressed and they don't eat as well. Um, and when you have too many guinea pigs in a cage, there's, there's too much competition for food. So just having a singular mate just helps them constantly eat. They're constantly grazing together uh, and uh, a happy guinea pig is a healthy guinea pig. Also, we found leaving the lights on in the shed um, from earlier and later uh, extends the amount of time that they can see the food to eat the food. So they end up eating more, which is exactly what we want. So just remember, we're looking for fit guinea pigs, not fat ones. Feed little and often and increase the amount of food that you feed uh, on a small amount over a long period of time leading up to show day. Use a cage mate to increase the competition for food and leave the light on a little longer to increase the amount of time they've got to feed. I'll also just reiterate that you must decrease the amount of food uh, slowly as well. You can't just stop feeding uh, huge amounts and then feed them back on their maintenance feed. You have to decrease this back down to their normal level over um, a, a two or three week period. And the end result, providing the breeding, the husbandry and the preparation was correct, and then your feeding was on point to get this guinea pig in top condition, uh, hopefully you end up winning a few rosettes at your show. As usual, I'm guinea pig Greg, and all the best on the show bench. Ta-ta!